Oh, what a surprise. It's raining in Pennsylvania. Yay. Hi, if you're new here, my name's Erin. I vlog while I run. I vlun. I'm training for my first ever marathon. The longest run so far is eight miles. Today we have three miles scheduled. I'm covered in baby food. This is my life. At least it's not freezing cold, but the rain. Why? Three miles today, out to the tree tunnel and back. I'll get you some tree tunnel vibes, but first, running outfit of the day. Glasses are useless in the rain, so we'll take them off. My life's a mess. <laughs> After my long run that you saw on Saturday, I got sick with a fever over the weekend. Uh, fever broke, now I have a sore throat. Bear is just now getting better. He kind of has like a runny nose cold type thing. Indy now has a raspy cough, which I assume is what I'm getting with the sore throat leading the way. I am so excited to, to trade sick season for spring. Although spring, there are those springtime viruses that go around every year. But at least you're on the tail end of it. And things are warming up. Like even if you're sick, you can sit outside. I noticed a comment, a question that I get a lot on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube is, what's my, what training plan am I following? How, how can you get started? And I don't, answer these directly because I'm not an expert. I refer to people to my coach, Alicia, at what runs you on Instagram. I have her link below. We are actually work, we have something in the works that will benefit you guys. If you wanna train with me, whatever level you're at, even if you can't run a mile. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited about it. I don't wanna to say too much. I'm very excited about it. I couldn't figure out a way, like we do have this community here on YouTube supporting each other, which is so awesome, but I wanted a more direct way to communicate with you guys that are specifically wanting to start running even just a little bit, but I think it's going to be really fun and I'm excited. But like I said, if you have questions in the meantime, before all that, reach out to Alicia. She is so approachable, so friendly, so knowledgeable, and she makes anything attainable. I mean, if I couldn't run a mile in August, now I'm training for a full marathon, that should say something, right? Because when I ran a half marathon like six years ago, I just followed a generic plan online. Guys, I could barely run five miles, even, even at that race. I barely finished, and now I'm almost running a half marathon for my long run sometimes with hills after having three kids i mean can i say anything more i have a direct comparison no coach coach here we are up first hill this scenery is getting boring i'm sure you guys are excited for green too tree tunnel vibes for you for me we're here the tree tunnel, even though it doesn't look like a t t t t t tunnel until spring. Spring, summer, and fall. That's when the tree tunnel is in its glory, you know? You know when I'm in my glory? You guessed it. The turnaround point. Freak, yeah. Just realized I haven't been posting my TikToks at the end of these videos anymore. I know a lot of you guys that are new subscribers are from TikTok, so hi, welcome, thank you. But for everyone else, I think I might select some of my faves. If I have a favorite of the week, maybe post one here and there. The other day I saw Indy crawling carry with a baggie in her hand that had the SD or XD card adapter for the GoPro card, and I grabbed it from her but I don't remember where I put it. So that's cool. Try not to complain, but man, my throat hurts. And I just wanna get home. You ever have runs like that? I'm sure you do. Or just days like that. For all you guys sticking through my negativity through this seasonal depression time of year, you're a hero, cause it's probably really annoying. I mean, I annoy myself. I'm like, shut up, get over it. But you can't really. It's like you're in a physical funk. 
it is what it is, you know, I guess. One of the reasons I definitely wanted to run outside during the winter is because I thought it would help with the um, seasonal depression. Because I thought if I got out more in the daylight, it would help and exercise. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I kind of did, but it's such a brief relief from it. At least it's something. I've tried the sad lights. I take vitamin D. I do all the things. But this time of year, especially between the holidays and that first warm green day of spring, it's rough. I'm thankful we got to go to Puerto Rico for a week. That broke it up a bit, but it almost made it even harder coming home to this. Ugh. Whew, I feel like the fresh air helped me feel a little better today. But I'm still sick. Obviously, like, it's not gonna cure everything. A little less stressed out. But I still have so much work to do. So much. Oh God. I always think I'm gonna get fired because I can't keep up, but I'm only one person and there's, um, there's only so much time in the day and night. Also, shout out to Tanner Kearns. If you don't know his channel already, check it out. He's sharing his weight loss journey over there and some other lifestyle things, but he's a busy college student. He works like multiple jobs to pay for college and his life. And that kid is still, still working on his health. Like he's finding the time and he's prioritizing it. Go check out his channel if you're interested in how he's losing the weight. Super proud of you, Tanner. As always, make sure to like this video because it really supports my ego. Your comments are my accountability. And be sure to subscribe to struggle along with me on this marathon training and whatever's next in life. Because let's be honest, life is one big struggle, so let's do it together. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.